The discussion of what to do with the discussion of what to do with bones has come up a few times, and I'm just going to show you one of the things that I like to do. This comes from Korean Natural Farming, and it's uh, water soluble calcium or calcium phosphate. You just take the bones. We I cook these in the oven for a while till they're starting to brown, and and that that releases the phosphorus from them, so that they're and then I'm just going to put them in a jar. So you can get some a little more phosphorus by heating them up like this. You can use eggshells too. You won't get the same level of phosphorus, but you probably you might be using your eggshells for something else. So the bone works really good. This is a good method of getting rid of some bone. And we just put them in a jar. These are turkey bones. It doesn't really matter what you eat, beef bones, chicken bones, whatever. So we put them in the jar. We have the lid rigged up with a, an airlock. Like we use for making wine. If you've never used these, there's a line on them right there that you fill it that full of water. And you put this little cap in like this. So when the water or when the carbon dioxide bubbles up through the tube. And don't have a very good seal there. When the carbon dioxide bubbles up through this tube, it comes up, pushes its way down, lifts this up, and pushes the, the bubbles come up underneath that little cup and up to the top. It keeps air from getting in, bacteria from getting in, causing anything to rot inside. But anyway, on the top of the bone, I'm just going to put some apple cider vinegar. Ideally, you want to use brown rice vinegar, but it's not available here. And if it is, it's very, very expensive. So apple cider vinegar will work. You're better with a brewed vinegar than a distilled vinegar. So we're going to fill this up like so. Now the vinegar will begin to work on the bone. And transfer any calcium carbonate or any calcium products in there to calcium acetate and it's water soluble and will also neutralize the acid in this vinegar so that it becomes water with a solution of water soluble calcium and water soluble phosphorus that you can use on your plants. Now this works great um, to stop blossom end rot on tomatoes um, and you just Mix this 100 to 1 once you drain all the bone out of it. You mix it 100 to 1 with water. Foliar spray or root drench it just as your tomatoes bloom. And then you get the calcium going up into the plant and preventing that blossom end rot that we always get.